I'm playing a Minecraft mob battle with my friend. But I'll be able to morph into anything. So, for example, if I want to blend in with an army of zombies, I just need to click the morph button and boom, we are now a zombie. Using this will completely annihilate Sparky's army during the mob battle. So, Sparky, are you ready to get this mob battle started? Oh, yes, I am. All right, then let it begin. And now that the mob battle has officially begun, we get to start cheating with this giant one-way glass wall to see exactly what Sparky's going to spawn in. And ooh, it looks like he's spawning in mutant blazes right now. And these guys are actually very, very strong, and they're made out of a bunch and a bunch of fire. So normally, this would be pretty bad for me. But remember, guys, we have the morph mod installed, and we're going to be cheating with that. And why don't we just get straight into this first troll? And for the first troll, we're actually going to build a snowman. And then we're just going to have to kill the snowman like that. And as you can see, we're actually absorbing its powers. So now when I click the morph button, we start to turn into a snow golem. Oh my goodness, look at us right now. We can even throw snowballs. We can actually sneak around the wall. And here we go. We have now walked out this sparky side and he has no idea. And just to do a little bit of trolling, let's throw some snowballs at his blazes right now. And he still has no idea. Okay, we're getting a little bit of damage on these guys. But for an even better troll, let's throw a bunch of water on them with this water wand. And this is gonna just do constant amounts of damage to all of these mutant blazes. Wait, what's happening to my mobs? Wait, Sparky's realized. Has he even seen that there's a snow golem though? Uh, why is there so much snow? That's not supposed to happen. This is so funny. And now he's trying to mine the snow. And uh oh, I think he sees me. I don't think I, I spawned that. How did you get here? Uh, die, die. Just just go, go. Whoa, go. he's trying to set me on fire. Okay, before he kills me, I'm just gonna throw a bunch of snowballs at all of his mobs. He's so mad right now. Okay, I'm just gonna try and dodge all of his attacks. Sorry. And just to finish this off, I'm gonna put a bunch of water all around this arena to do even more damage to his blazes. This is not funny. This is really funny. And okay, I'm just gonna finish this off and fly around the wall just like this. Wait, where did the snowman go? He's gone. And oh, my brain just took so much health. Oh. Look at Sparky's side of the arena right now. This looks so, so bad. I mean, there's just a bunch of water, cobblestone, netherrack, snow. Oh, that is just so, so good for us. Since a lot of his blazes took a bunch of damage, which is gonna give us a little edge in this mob battle. But now that we've done all of our trolls of the snow golem, let's turn ourselves into an actual really powerful mob. And that way we could fight as a mob during the mob battle. I've got a really, really good idea for what mob I want to become. I want to become this man of water. So, of course, to obtain his powers, we're just gonna have to kill him with this sword. And oh man, he is a lot and a lot of health. So, I'm just gonna give myself some strength real quick. And boom, we just one shot him like that. And of course, now when we click the morph button, oh yes, look at this. We are morphing into a giant man of water. And oh yes, this is gonna be so powerful. And just to give ourselves a little bit more of an advantage, we're just gonna cover our entire arena with water. So, those blazes won't even be able to get near me. And now let's put ourselves into some survival mode, and I think I'm actually ready to get this first round of the mob battle started. Sparky, is your mob army ready for this first round? Because mine definitely is. Uh, Cardi, something very weird happened. A snowman came in and started throwing water and snowballs at my blazes. Wait, really? That sounds super, super bad for you, because that actually will do a lot of damage to your blazes. Yeah, were you spawning a snowman? Did it just, like, somehow wander over to my side? Oh, yeah, I did spawn in a few snow golem, so I guess that's how. I guess it just walked around the wall or something. That's really weird. Cardi, you really need to keep an eye on your snow golems. Alright, I'll make sure to do that next round, but are you ready to drop the walls? Yes, I am. Let's do this. Alright, the walls have dropped, and Sparky, do you see what mob I have on my side? Is that a water golem thing? Oh no, the water's attacking my blazes. Yeah, it basically is. And wait, this is actually perfect because water is the perfect counter for blazes. Oh no. Wait, why are my blazes just sitting there? They're just attacking each other. That's not supposed to happen. I know, and they're just sitting in the water too. And they're just taking constant amounts of damage. And oh my goodness, this is crazy. Oh no, you already got one of them. I know, I got one of them. And uh oh, it looks like there's some tornado attack your blazes doing. And my guy's in lava right now. Oh, come on, come on, fight. And now 
now it's just a 1v1. Do you think your last blaze is going to be able to take out my man of water? Well, I mean, fire does beat water sometimes. Yeah, I guess sometimes it does, but most of the time it doesn't. And I think your last blaze just got finished off. It's about to explode. And boom, my army just won the mob battle. Oh, uh, wait. Card, you haven't seen you the entire match. Where are you? Oh, I just fell off the arena. I'm flying back up. But are you ready to get on to the second round? Oh, I sure am. I'm going to make sure whatever happened before is not going to happen again. Let's go. And now we are on round two. But don't leave because the trolls are just going to get better and better as the video goes on. So you're going to have to see this. And wait a second. Where is Sparky for round two? And wait, what is he doing? He's building a massive obsidian wall here. Okay, I guess he really does not want stuff going on to his side. But of course, we are still going to find a way around that. And we're going to go on to Sparky's side. But anyways, it looks like he's finished building that wall. And he's starting to spawn in a bunch and a bunch of these oak monsters. And look at these guys. They're just made out of wood. But they also do look very powerful. So this is not good for me at all. But wait a second. Since those guys are made out of oak logs. And oak logs biggest weakness is actually fire. I should be able to turn into some sort of fire mob. And then I could absolutely destroy all of these guys. With just a few simple attacks. But before I turn into my main mob. Let's choose a mob just to sneak onto Sparky's side with. And I think the mob I want to choose is a piglin. So let's just kill this guy like this, get his powers, and of course, morph into it. Let's go! Oh my goodness, we look absolutely disgusting, but let's also grab a golden sword just to complete the costume. Now we definitely look like a piglin. But anyways, let's sneak around this wall. And yeah, look at this obsidian wall. He really wanted to keep the mobs out, and it says no stinky mobs. Well, I don't think piglins are that stinky, so I think we should be good. So what we'll do is we'll just break through the wall like this and just completely put a bunch of holes in it and hopefully sparky doesn't see me let's be careful and there we go you can see him right there he's just planting a bunch of trees i guess he's trying to make the appropriate biome for his mobs but what the troll i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna start to build a giant nether fortress on his side and using some special commands i could basically instantly build this thing so let's go we're just gonna start making this giant wall like this and then we're gonna pour a bunch of lava coming down from it so let's just put the lava all around here before sparky sees me and also, let's put this in all of the trees so we can completely burn them all. This is gonna be hilarious. Whoa, whoa, what's happening over here? Oh, no, is that lava? Oh, no, 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 that's not good. That's not good at all. Why, why is it all burning? Look, it's Sparky right now. He's just trying to put water on the trees to put out the fire, but it's barely working at all, and he still hasn't seen me. Oh, no, why? What did this? Is this Hero Brian's work? He thinks this is Hero Brian. Well, let me go reveal myself and show him that actually a zombie zombie pigman did this. I'm just gonna stand here and jump up and down. Oh, Cardi, you left one of your piglins out. Oh, I destroyed my entire thing. No, how am I ever supposed to win this? Oh, he thinks that I spawned this piglin in. Well, when we start the next round, I'll actually tell him that I didn't spawn any piglins. And now I'm just gonna place a little bit more lava all around his thing just to troll him more. Nope, nope. Water. Water is better than lava. Nope, nope. Oh my gosh, he's so sad. And look at his side. This is absolutely completely destroyed. And while he continues to put out that fire, let's just fly over the wall like this and go back onto our side. And oh my, yeah, it looks even worse from this angle. And it looks like we actually killed a bunch of his oak monsters. And that actually is going to give us a huge advantage in this next mob battle since his army shrug a ton. But now it's time that we actually spawn in a mob for us to morph into for this round. And I actually spawned in this fire dragon mob. And that's because fire is the counter to these wooden monsters like you guys just saw. So once again, we're gonna have to kill this guy by killing him with my sword. And boom, he's already dead. So we should absorb his powers. And once we click the morph button, yes, there we go. We are turning into a fire dragon. Look at us. We're so big, I can barely even see us. Oh my gosh, that's actually pretty funny looking. But now that we're a fire dragon, we should actually be able to get some fire tools and then we can start this next round. So what I'm gonna grab is a fire crystal, a fire fury gun, and a ray gun. And now we can put ourselves 
myself in survival mode. And look at us. We can fly around just like a dragon. Okay, this is going to be such a fun round. And we're going to completely obliterate his wooden monsters. Anyway, Sparky, how is your army going on this second round? My army was doing great. But then one of your piglin mobs came in and uh, started attempting to burn down my entire forest creatures. Wait, what are you talking about? I didn't even spawn any piglins in. Are you sure you're not just seeing things, Sparky? Wait, really? I could have sworn I saw a piglin come in and start burning all my stuff down. Are you sure it wasn't you? Yeah, that was not me. I did not spawn anything. You are just going crazy, Sparky. And anyways, are you ready to drop the wall? I mean, I lost half my guys, but uh, sure, I guess. All right, then let's drop them in three, two, one. Let's go. And oh my goodness, do you see what mob I spawned? In. Is that a dragon? That's pretty cool. Yeah, and not only is it just a dragon, it's a fire dragon, which is actually the perfect counter for your wooden monsters. I think I actually have a chance of winning this one, because I only have, like, five monsters left. I know. I don't know how that even happened. Like, I'm looking at your side right now, and it's all covered in water and cobblestone. Why did you do that? Well, you see, those once were trees, but then the pigeons started planting lava, so I had to put water on it, and it's just became a mess. Okay, yeah, you're definitely going crazy Sparky, you are just saying things at this point. There's no way a piglin did that. Uh, wait, there's no bedrock anymore? I thought there was bedrock here before. And oh, but yeah, there is no bedrock, and I think all your mobs just fell off, and, and my dragon just won the mob battle. Uh, wait, I have one left. Never mind. Oh, yeah, that guy just fell off, too, and yeah, you have no more mobs, Sparky. Uh, we really gotta replace this with bedrock sometime. Uh, wait. Cardi, I don't see you down here. Where are you? Oh, I'm literally just in the cobblestone right now. I'm just checking to make sure there's no TNT or something. Uh, are you just ready to restart the arena? Uh, yes, Sparky, third round. Sh sure, I guess. I already see you, but okay. And oh, that was close. Sparky almost caught me that round, but thankfully, we are on the third round now, and we have an even better troll for this round, so you guys are gonna have to see it. And it looks like Sparky's actually already spotting in his mobs, and oh my goodness, he spawned in a nether scourge boss. Normally, this would be extremely, extremely bad for me. But of course, as you guys know, we have the morph mod installed. This is not even gonna be the slightest problem at all. And for the troll that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make myself invisible. I'm not gonna morph into something just yet. And now let me sneak onto Sparky's side and yeah, he cannot see me at all. And we need him to stop looking at his mob. So I'm actually gonna do a little bit of a distraction. I'm just gonna explode a TNT all the way back here and that should get his attention away from his mob and look at that. Hi, uh, hello. Whoa, what's that? Uh, I should probably investigate that. Oh, if it's another piglet, I'm gonna be really mad. Oh, it's a hole. I gotta fix this. No. Okay, Sparky thinks a piglet did that. And okay, this is my only chance. And okay, he's distracted on that. Now we just gotta quickly kill his mob like this. And then we're going to morph into it and quickly, quickly morph. And boom, we are now Sparky's mob. Okay, this is perfect. And look, I don't think he noticed anything. Oh, that was so awful. Awful. I really hope Cardi's monster doesn't attack you before the round starts, Mr. Monster. Okay, this is super, super good. He actually thinks that I'm his monster, so now I'm just gonna start doing some weird stuff. Alright, I wonder what Cardi's doing. Uh, he's probably making something big. I don't know. I, I should wait. He's wondering what I'm doing, but right now I'm just gonna put some poop down and act like his mob. Wait, I didn't know you had to go to the bathroom. Uh... Uh, at least flush. Oh my gosh, Sparky thinks I'm actually pooping this right now. Well, I'm just gonna keep putting poop all around his arena and make it stink so, so much. Oh, come on, man. Oh, that's all the poop and, uh, what am I supposed to do with this? This is absolutely disgusting right now. He's trying to destroy it with his bare hands. And he's getting poop all over his hands right now. Oh, I hate touching this. Gross, gross, gross. Okay, this is actually super duper funny, but I think that's enough of this troll for now. And wait, look, now he's blowing up the poop. Oh my gosh, look at this. Way too stinky for me. Way too stinky for me. Anyways, you guys might be wondering, why have I turned into Sparky's mob? Well, what I'm actually gonna do is act as his mob during the mob battle and just completely ruin it for him and not even attack the mob a part of my army. And speaking of the mob a part of my army, there's actually no mob on my side. So I just quickly snuck onto my side. And we're just gonna spawn in some wolves on my side. And this is gonna be my army, which is gonna allow me to win this mob battle. And thankfully, 
Luckily, Sparky hasn't seen me yet, so let me just fly back onto his side. And let's sit on this big thing he's making. I think this is like a throne for me. I'm just gonna sit on it. Hey, Mr. Mob, do you like the throne I made of you? It looks just like you, right? I'm just gonna say no, I do not like it. Put poop on it! Well, actually, uh, a toilet is a type of throne, so I guess this is okay. Okay, this is so funny, but let's start the mob battle anyways. And Sparky, is your mob army ready right now? Uh, yeah, my mob army is great. This my mob's a little bit stupid. He's just pooping everywhere. What are you talking about? Your mob is pooping, Sparky. Yeah, I didn't know mobs could do that. Maybe he ate something funny. Well, I just spotted some dogs, and even they're not pooping. And dogs are known for pooping. But anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? Oh, yeah. My chair monster is definitely gonna kill all your dogs. Well, we'll see about that, Sparky. And anyways, let's jump the walls. And boom, the walls have dropped. And do you see what I spawned in? I have a bunch of doggies. Wait, the, the dogs aren't hostile. Why? I mean, if my mom could hit it, it will... They'll be hostile? Yeah, I don't know why our mobs aren't attacking each other right now. And wait, your mob's just giving my mobs diamonds right now. Wait, don't give them diamonds. Don't give them a full set of armor. No, bad mob. Bad, bad, bad. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, Sparky, what is your mob doing right now? Is he stupid? He's pointing out the diamonds. No, that's not fair. That's not fair. And wait, he just put water around your TNT. Your mob is so bad. Oh, uh, wait. Cardi, I don't see you. How are you commentating? Oh, I'm just, uh, I accidentally put an invisibility potion on myself, so yeah, you can't see me. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. But wait, now your mom's giving my mom's bones. Oh my gosh, I think they're becoming friends, Sparky. Oh, uh, wait. How is this gonna be a mob battle if the guys are friends? That's not That's not even a battle. It's just a friendship battle. Well, I guess we just have to wait until one of our team's mobs dies, and wait, your mom's kind of running over to the edge. Wait, no, don't be suicidal. No. Oh my gosh, I think he's trying to jump off, and oh, I think you just lost the mob battle, Sparky. What? Why? Okay, Sparky can't hear me, but I'm just gonna morph back into myself so he doesn't get too suspicious. And anyway, Sparky, my invisibility just ran off. And as you can see, I've been here the whole time. Why? Why? What is wrong with my mobs today? Oh, I don't know. This is really weird for you. But anyways, are you ready to go on to round number four? Uh, I guess. Okay, let's go. Okay, that was 100% the funniest round yet. Sparky has no idea why his mob just jumped off the map. But remember, our trolls are just getting started. And we have some crazy trolls planned for these next rounds. All right. In order to prevent what happened last time, I'm going to lock my mob in a cage. And wait, what is Sparky doing right now? I think he's making some sort of cage for the mob he's going to spawn in. But he's making it out of dirt. And dirt isn't exactly very strong. So this is probably not going to work too well for him. And look at the mob Sparky spawned. Wait, he spawned a giant frost monster. It's actually suffocating in the dirt right now. Okay, this is what happens when you try to cage your mob in. Anyways, while Sparky tries to deal with that... Let's actually get to my first troll for round number four. And for this round, I'm actually not gonna go onto Sparky's side at all. What I'm gonna do instead is spawn in a silverfish and kill it just like this to unlock its power. There we go, we're absorbing it, and now let's morph into it. And here we go, we are now a tiny little baby silverfish. Now you might be wondering, why did I turn into a silverfish? Well, the reason why is because I think it'd be absolutely hilarious if a tiny little super weak mob like a silverfish was able to take down Sparky's ginormous frost monster. And that's exactly what we're gonna do for this round. And to do that, I'm just gonna grab a bunch of very, very OP potions like regeneration, strength, speed, fire resistance, jump boost, and even instant health. And here we go. We have so many potions. Now let's just throw these all onto ourselves like this. And oh man, look at how fast we are now. We are a super, super quick silverfish. We're just speeding across the arena like super duper fast right now. Okay, well, now that we got all of these effects, we can get rid of these potions. And let's grab ourselves a really OP set of armor. What armor should we grab? And ooh, this enderite armor looks pretty powerful. Let's just grab all of this like this, and we'll put it on just like this. And now, last but not least, we're gonna need some weapons. So what's the craziest weapon I could find? And ooh, this sword looks pretty good. Look at how big this sword is. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be awesome to completely annihilate Sparky's Frost Monster as a tiny little silverfish. Sparky, how is your army going on this fourth round? Well, thankfully, nothing bad happened to my army. So I'm just building my uh, my mob just a little bit of a cave. Yeah, he, he deserves a cave after everything he's been through. So I'm just gonna uh, let him just sit there and sleep. Wait, really, Sparky? Nothing bad has happened to you yet? This is the first round of the mob battle where that's happened. Yeah, it's been pretty weird. But uh, yeah, I think my mob looks pretty cozy. Well, since you built your mob a cage, does that mean 
assuming your army is ready. And are you ready to drop the walls? Yeah, pretty much. All right, then. Let's just get this round started right away. Server, drop the walls. And boom, Sparky. The walls have dropped it. Do you see what mob I have? Is that just a silverfish? Yes, it is. It's a silverfish, but I threw a bunch of potions onto it. So it's super, super fast. Uh, okay. Mob, wake up. Fight. Uh, wait. I think the silverfish is going to your mob, and it just punched it in. Uh-oh. I think your mob's waking up. All right. Time for a battle. I might actually win. I don't think you're going to be able to win this because my silverfish is actually super, super strong. I don't know. Uh, my mob's beating up pretty good, and it's still at full health. Okay, Sparky can't hear me right now, but we just got to try and fight this frost mob right now and try and get as much hits on it as we can. And there we go. I just hit it. And Sparky, how on earth is your frost mob getting killed by my silverfish right now? Uh, what, what kind of potions did you put on this thing? Oh, I just put some crazy potions like speed, strength, and all that stuff. And oh my gosh, I'm winning like crazy right now. Okay, if I actually lose this, I'm going to be super embarrassed. Yeah, I don't know. How on earth are they silverfish is beating your mob? This is so, so embarrassing. Come on, breathe harder. Yeah, even his crazy frost attacks are not enough. And anyways, I think my silverfish is going to get the last shot. And boom. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Well, at least something bad happened th this round. What do you mean nothing bad happened? You just lost to a silverfish. And I just won the fourth round in a row. Uh, yeah, okay. Just at least something, nothing weird happened on my side. So I guess this is sort of a W for me. I don't really know about that. And anyway, Sparky, are you ready to reset the arena and move on to the final round? Oh, yes, I am. All right, then let's go. Okay, that was a pretty quick round, but I got one of my favorite trolls in. That was so hilarious that a tiny little silverfish just beat this giant frost monster. But anyway, since we're on the final round, I have my best troll yet planned. And it looks like Sparky's actually making a little bit of a trap for any mob that tries to sneak around onto his side. So this round, we actually will sneak onto his side once again and pull off our best troll. And would you look at that? Sparky's spawning in his mob now, and he's spawning in a bunch of muted zombies. Okay, I think he's going all in for this final round. He really wants to get at least one win in this mob battle, but we are not gonna let that happen. So let's spawn in a muted zombie on our side like that, and let's just kill this thing with a single shot with our big Bertha sword. And now we should be able to morph into it. Let's test if this works. And of course it works. What am I even saying? And anyways, now we should be able to sneak on the Sparky side. Uh, what does this sign say? It says cake. But wait, let's check what's inside these dispensers. There's not even anything inside of them. Okay, I'm just gonna break all of this and walk past it. And uh-oh, there's TNT here. And uh oh that is not good. That is a pig explosion. Hey, what, what, what are you over here for? You broke my explosion thingy. Come on. Oh, I think Specky was trying to make a trap for any mob that sneaks around the wall. But since I'm blended in as one of his zombies already, he doesn't even notice. Oh, come on. All right, you know what? Since you probably took some damage, here, here's a villager to eat. Oh, he's giving me villagers to eat. But instead, I'm just going to start attacking our own mobs and killing all of the zombies. Wait, why are you killing the zombies? That's not good. He is so confused on why I'm just killing all these zombies right now. But I'm just going to try and kill all of them. I think this actually might be my strongest monster yet. I think I actually might have to use this man. Wait, he's thinking I'm his strongest zombie yet. But this is taking a little bit of a long time. So instead, let's just type a command to kill all of these zombies like this. Oh my gosh, Mr. Zombie, you're so strong. I know I'm strong. I'm just going to nod my head up and down and jump around the arena like this. All right, I think you alone can take out whatever card he made. Wait, I can't believe he's actually super happy that I just killed his entire army. But what I'm going to do instead is actually just spawn on a normal zombie like this and then get an invisibility potion. And now let's just make myself invisible. And he probably thinks I just morphed out of a mutant zombie. Where, 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 where'd you go? I, I, oh, do you, uh, you're, you're normal now. Come on. He is so sad that his mutant zombie just turned to normal. But anyways, we can sneak back onto our side now. And now let's morph back into our own self. And there we go. Look at Sparky's army from this side. This is just so sad. It's just a tiny normal zombie. There is no way this guy's gonna win the mob battle. And speaking of winning the mob battle, why don't we actually win this mob battle legit? And instead of morphing into our mob, let's just spawn in a cosmic fiend boss. But the second I spawn this boss in, it's gonna instantly fly over to Sparky's side and kill his mob. So we actually do not want to spawn this in just yet. Anyway, Sparky, is your army ready? It was ready, but then one of my mobs started 
killing everyone, then turn into a zombie, and yeah, I only have a zombie now. Oh, well, Sparky, I guess your streak of nothing happening to your mobs is now over from last round, and yeah, that sounds pretty sad. But anyways, are you ready to drop the walls? I guess I have no choice. Yeah, you have no choice. And anyways, let me spawn in my mob like this, and let the mob battle begin, and oh my goodness, Sparky. Uh, okay, Mr. Zombie, uh, you know how you killed all my friends? Uh, do that again, please. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work. My cosmic feet's just going crazy destroying the arena right now. Yeah, I don't think he likes dirt. Yeah, I guess not. He's just kind of eating it all. And Mr. Cosmic Feet, can you come and kill this zombie? Did you not feed your monster McDonald's like you're supposed to? No, I did not feed my monster McDonald's. What are you even talking about, Sparky? You're always supposed to feed your mobs. Like, don't you know that's like mob 101? Like, I'll feed mine right now. Oh, like, you're feeding your mob a villager. Okay, that's not gonna really do anything. I think that your mob's gonna die regardless. And oh, I think my mob's finally locked onto your mob. And let's just push your zombie in a little closer. Oh no, run away! Don't pit it! It's already low enough. And oh, Sparky, your mob just died by my cosmic fiend. Uh, it is kind of expected. Yeah, I don't really think I've ever seen a zombie kill a cosmic fiend boss. But anyways, I just won the final round, meaning the mob battle's now over. Oh, uh, it sucks that I was trolled so hard by those weird mobs. You can't really gotta figure out what caused those. Uh, yeah, Sparky, you wanna know what caused those? Because I might actually know. What? But you see me right now, I actually have the ability to morph into mobs. And yeah, look at that. I just morphed into a wolf. Oh! Oh, so that was all you. Yeah, I was just morphing into your mobs and trolling you completely, and I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay. I forgive you. It was pretty funny trolls. Yeah, they were pretty funny. And anyways, thanks everyone for watching the video. And please make sure to click the video on the screen and subscribe. Bye.